Floods, and in general, the hazards induced by heavy rainfall, are the most important natural hazards that threaten Europe, and every year cause loss of life and extensive material damage. In order to minimize these disasters, we require the ability to anticipate them. A clear example is the civil protection services. It is very important for them to know in advance where and when heavy rains will fall and anticipate the consequences in order to deploy human and technical resources more efficiently in the areas that may be affected, thus preventing loss of life. During these emergencies caused by severe weather events, and especially those caused by heavy rains, Civil Protection has the support of meteorological services that provide technical support and the best possible meteorological forecasts. At present, weather prediction models are able to forecast severe weather two or three days in advance, but for areas of hundreds of square kilometers, which are too large to define accurately where the most important effects will occur. If we want to increase their resolution, we also need to use weather radar information. By using this tool, we can know precisely where it is raining, the extent of the area affected by heavy rain, and thus we can estimate indicators of the associated risk over a few square kilometers. But can weather radar help us to foresee severe weather with enough advance warning? Thanks to the OPERA EU METSAT program, radar data is collected from 130 radar across 20 European countries, and a European rainfall map is generated every 15 minutes with a resolution of 2 by 2 kilometers. Using the motion field of the precipitation and advanced algorithms, the ED project extrapolates these radar data at European level up to six hours ahead. That is, we can anticipate the areas that will be affected by rain up to six hours before it's going to happen. Moreover, the work carried out in collaboration with the European Civil Protection has allowed the EDIT project to translate these high-resolution rainfall forecasts into forecasts of the hazard indicators related to these severe weather events. The demonstration run by the EDIT project has shown that these forecasts can be made available to civil protection centers in real time to support them to deploy human and material resources as quickly as possible in order to mitigate the effects of these heavy rains. During the EDIT training activity, a number of experts from different organizations have had the opportunity to work at first hand with this information through a specially designed platform. And these are some of their impressions. I think EDIT is a very useful project. Um, um, we've shown today with the training activity that it's able to summarize the meteorological information and the hydrological information um, neatly into one packet, which can be then quick used to conveniently make decisions because I mean the ultimate goal of um, using weather and hydrological information is to make decisions which will eventually protect the people in terms of um, protecting them against floods and warning them against um, dangerous weather activities and so the edit project has developed a useful tool which will enable a quick um, analysis of the available meteorological and hydrological data which can be used to make decisions upon.
This training day is a very good opportunity to share uh, best practices in concerning tools for uh, and predict and forecasting tools because uh, civil protection tries to uh, to um, enhance its level of uh, forecasting and prediction and I think that uh, a good exchange about uh, tools including uh, the use of experts like a hydrologist or a meteorologist are uh, um, are quite interesting to uh, to hand the level of, of response. And here you have some lines about... We have the opportunity to work hand in hand and also we live uh, through a, a disaster and we're looking what are they doing at this stage and different uh, priorities to set and to know how the others work. I think it's it's a good tool. It's also a support for decision making. And if you look at this output of uh, these tools, they will give you some help uh, for decision making. I think this is a very good project, a necessary project. And to imply this uh, data, I need radar is also a very important tool to use this uh, uh, rain prediction for the flood and so uh, this in these areas. Uh, I think it's, uh, it gives a good uh, idea about uh, flood forecasting tools that are developed right now in the edit project. Um, I think it's also good to bring in, in contact the communities of uh, meteorologists, hydrologists and uh, uh, safety managers or uh, high risk uh, event managers. Well, I think uh, it's very interactive and there's a lot of useful discussions here. We, we are very happy because uh, after uh, two years of work, we can show something to the people that are in operation that can help them to better understand which are the situations which they confront. This is challenging because it's a region challenging uh, because the mountains of the Alps, because a uh, uh, long period uh, rainfall over the same place. But, uh, you know, uh, the reality is challenging, so we need to face this reality with the tools we have. And I think the tools that uh, we have developed in, in EDIT are amazing and they are able to uh, show the enormous potential we have behind in the Opera program data in the European network of radars and that can be used very importantly in the day-to-day -day operation of the civil protection. So we will accumulate the rainfall over the area. This is extremely important uh, and uh, uh, I know that uh, now the, the, there is uh, Opera, Opera data is, uh, is being ingested into, into this, uh, this tool and there are some political issues. I hope that in the future uh, this, uh, it, it can be open to a wider use and this uh, political issue could be solved, this uh, data use issues. There is uh, not enough information presently for civil protection organizations and operators of these risks and that's why EDHIT is a kind of very good step towards more efficient, more real-time use or weather hazard information for civil protection. These tools, providing adapted information transformed into hazard indicators, are of great importance to support emergency responders in their decision-making and risk management operations. The capacity to make them operationally accessible to the European Civil Protection and Emergency Coordination Centres will represent a major step ahead to improve their response capacity during weather-induced emergencies.